we are back happy sunday <sighs> episode just ended there wasn't a whole lot of excitement to be honest but i'm just going to talk about again how happy 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 i am that tyler is the hoh this week i'm still happy we are in another week of big brother all right so let's get into it. Apparently after the head of household competition the other night, there was a bunch of drama about that Tyler did not wait until his glass stopped to push the finish button. I don't think there was any rules to say yes or no, what they could do, what they were supposed to do. Everybody was so upset that Janelle did not win because she pushed hers after hers stopped and she would have had more points than he did if they would have went with the score that he had when he pushed his button. I think people are just trying to like pull at straws for Janelle. She thinks so highly of herself. All the people do, which is fine. Like, again, not judging you. Everybody's got their favorites. But she was also like, I should have had this. This is my HOH. Well, you didn't. Did anybody hear if this was a thing or not, though? Because I know that the feeds went down for a really long time after the competition. So does anybody know that if this was actually in question? Let me know in the comments below if you, if you found out. New Alliance Alert. The Slick Six. I feel okay about the Slick Six. Bailey, Enzo, Tyler, Devon, Danny, Cody. I feel okay about it, but also a little mm, about it. I think that a lot of people are getting in a lot of alliances and they're going to start crossing and it's going to get ugly. Have nots for this week. Again, the outgoing have nots choose the new have nots. So, for David, Enzo volunteers to be a have-not. But I also heard that this was a bitch move on David's part. Because he kept saying how much he wanted to get back at Memphis for doing all the things that he did to him last week. But apparently now he wants to play the compassionate nice guy game. Kesar, Cody volunteers. Classy as usual. Christmas, she chooses Bailey. Apparently, this was pre-chatted before the have-not ceremony. So, they had talked about it before. Then Nicole. She chooses Janelle because she's never been a have-not. And she likes to talk about me. Y'all. I have never in my life had Nicole be so savage i like this nicole i need her to keep playing this game because she was like i didn't know what i was gonna say please keep talking like that you don't usually say anything this is the kind of nicole i like this is the kind of big brother i like no filter of course janelle has to say her piece and stomps around like a baby and has to to get loud and say all this mess because all she does is talk. She needs to learn to be quiet. Janelle and Kaser are talking with Memphis. Y'all, they think that he is with them. If they are such good players, why are they so delusional about this? She says that she found out that he was lying to her because he wouldn't make eye contact with her. I get that normally means someone is lying, but like, he ain't working with y'all in the first place, and that was your first mistake is thinking that he was. The funniest moment is those boys talking about the bidet. Because apparently this year they have a bidet. And apparently it was so bougie to Cody. And he goes in the bathroom after Enzo to try to use the bathroom. And they keep talking about how there is water all over the bathroom and all over the toilet seat. And Enzo said that it sprayed him in the face and all this crap. And that was the funniest part of this whole episode, I swear. I was dying. The 
Janelle Kaser reminiscing throwback videos. That was the biggest waste of my time. Tyler apparently was talking to people in the Alliance and he was like, what do I say to them if I'm gonna put them on the block? What do I do? He needs to be straight up. He needs to just say, this is why I'm putting you up. This is what I'm doing. Good luck. They think that they are Big Brother royalty and somebody needs to pop the bubbles that are their heads. Danny hears Bailey, Devon, Kaser, Janelle, I believe Kevin was in there and Nicole Anthony was in there before she went out and they were talking game and she goes and runs back to Tyler telling him all of this, which is fine. He should know because apparently they made this alliance because don't forget Bailey and Devon are supposed to be a part of the Slick Six and they're working apparently with Janelle and Kaser, which is who Tyler is trying to get out. So something ain't lining up here. They got to figure something out. I don't really want Bailey and Devon to get targets on their backs yet because I kind of think that they're flying under the radar and they're doing a pretty good job to have been such presences in their past seasons. <sighs> but that is not a good look for them and their slick six alliance with those boys. Safety suite competition. Enzo, Memphis, Danny, and Nicole all still have their VIP passes for the safety suite competition. Devon is going around telling everybody and their brother, I want to be the plus one because I've never gotten a punishment before. Okay, that's not a good reason to want to be a plus one. You're putting a target on your back because you want to get the punishment, but you're also going to be safe. So basically you're begging for safety. Simmer down, Tavon. Nicole scans her card. Memphis scans his card, but continues to say, I don't want to play. I don't need to play. I don't want to win. Then why are you playing? Enzo scans, Danny scans. So all the four people that are left with their passes all are going to play in the safety suite. The competition is called Stealing Safety. Basically, they have to rob a safe, a vault. It's got a big, huge ball in it, like a big plastic ball. There's lasers that go this way and this way and this way and this way across the room, and they have to go up, down, around, and do all this mess to get through, get the ball, come back, hit the buzzer. Memphis starts talking about how he's going to throw the competition. Again, why are you playing? Weren't you just saying last week you wanted everybody to play so you wouldn't have any competition? Oh, okay. So the results of this competition, Nicole gets an overwhelmingly 15 minutes and 36 seconds. Memphis comes right a little in front of her with his 14 minutes and 33 seconds. Enzo gets four minutes and 41 seconds. Danny is at six minutes and four seconds, which means Enzo has won this week's safety suite, which is the final week of the safety suite. Enzo picks Christmas as his plus one. I was like, mm, why are you picking Christmas? Well, apparently he wants to pick Christmas so that he can reel her in so that she'll be on their good side with the whole Tyler Cody alliance and all that. He tells Christmas that he picks her because she has a good spirit and she can cook. <laughs> That's such a man thing to say. So funny. Of course, Janelle's in the corner crying because Memphis threw the competition because he wasn't going to save her anyways, but she was just talking to him like he was gonna or she wanted him to, but we won't get into that. Then they're campaigning, they're chatting with Tyler before nominations. I'm honestly kind of happy that he was straight forward and upfront with both of them about Hey, you've been talking about me. Hey, my name's been coming up. Hey, this is why you're probably getting nominated. So don't be surprised. The one that he had with Kaser, I actually caught on the live feeds this week. And it was much more on a broad scale than what they obviously showed on TV tonight. It was a good conversation. Seems to be legit. I personally think Kaser's probably a good dude. So is Janelle probably. I don't know, but their gameplay is just not something that I can get with. So, I'm not a Janelle and Kaser fan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is time for the nomination ceremony. Biggest shocker of the night. Janelle and Kaser 
are nominated. Wow. I don't think that came as a surprise to anyone. They've been talking about him. They've been talking about everybody. But of course, she's ready for this veto competition because it is her time to shine. I can't wait to see her shine. Well, that about wraps it up for this Sunday night Big Brother recap episode. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Please and thank you. But don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Actually Rage. I will be putting out new videos for the remainder of the week on Wednesday night and Thursday night after the shows. So I will see you guys on Wednesday night. Bye.